do anything untraceable. What we do here is highly traceable. That's the point. Yeah. It's so that people can watch people talking about stuff, you know, because if you watch television now, it's just designed to rot your brain. You know, if you're going to watch EastEnders, you might as well watch me talking about something or you talking about something that you've, you're interested in. And maybe out of the three billion people on Earth that have got internet access, a couple of dozen of them will sign in. Three billion. That's the height of my reach, I'm afraid, at the moment. Mm. Maybe 170 people will watch it. I mean, some of my videos have been watched like multiple thousands of times. Well, it's, it's taken years. If you've got a a, 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 a message or any information to, uh, to to get to get over to to relate to, uh, to to those who aren't in those three three billion, then I'm, then I'm sure you can still find find a way to to reach those people. Yeah. But for, but for the meantime, we still have to do. I don't think I'd have wanted to do this as much. I didn't want to do a TV show talking about stuff that actually matters back in the 70s when you had actual documentaries and stuff like that, like World in Action and stuff, when people really were telling you what was going on in the world. But now, for every, if you were to watch modern television news, you might get a, a, a bit of news that was actually important. And then you get a whole bunch of fluff about famous people. You know, there's more going on in the world at any given time than we can possibly process, but we don't really prioritise it much. If somebody's famous and they get caught doing something they possibly shouldn't, that's the lead story. Not planet still fucked. Nobody yeah. knows what to do. Yeah, because because uh, on, on on Monday you do get a headline that says Pla planet fucked. On on Tuesday it doesn't say planet still fucked. It says uh, Kim Kim Kardashian uh, had uh, another heart implant. Yeah, which is yeah. We do, yeah for so so many people, they're uh, the major so, so, source of news. It might, might be the Daily Mirror or or, 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 or so, 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 something like that, which is allegedly uh, left left leaning. But it's still, well, this is this is the problem when people all, tailor all, their all, own all about their own news content. All about tits. They'll buy a particular paper because they know it's going to tell them the shit they're going to want to hear about. And that's why, in America, when they've just had their tax returns back and they're all worse off, they're really pissed off, despite the fact that well over 18 months ago, the people that were angry about the massive tax cuts to the billionaires in America is, is, you know, people were saying this is a bad thing because your tax returns won't be as good. And all the Trump support was like, you know, half the country were just going, yeah, you say that now, we'll see come my tax return in 2019 and everybody's just got their shit back. And they're all worse off. Apparently, apparently, if you if you lived exactly right to the conditions of the tax code, if you had the perfect tax family of two point four children and one child in college, and you know all these certain criteria, yeah. you can be as much as six hundred dollars a year better off. If you were in that magic Venn diagram of all those things intersecting, whereas the average person that earns over a million million dollars a year got sixty three thousand dollars. So they basically gave the equivalent of one middle class family's entire income to millionaires in tax breaks. Thank you very much. Well, that's why they put so much money behind it. But it trickles Because he bit, said he, he it trickles that. down. It trickles he down. He said to them that he was going to do it. It trickles down from the from me tax haven. <laughs> yeah, how's that, how's that going to work? Yeah, it's let's not use the phrase trickle down economics because, yeah. Well, it, 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 it's not a, not a real thing. It's, it's this a, will it, it, no, it's, a, it's a myth. This will quickly devolve into uh, a, a parody of a call to arms, a la Citizen Smith, if we go down if we go down that road with me, because it just annoys me so much. But the uh, the, the point you really wanted to uh, to, to, to to revolve around is, is uh, just how stupid our politicians are with regard to the important things, which means CO two. I should totally be wearing my beret for this. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's a uh, it's it's it, it's a shift away from you know looking at as, as radical politics. It's uh, radical economics. Yeah. You, you know, it, it, but it needs obviously everything need, need, needs to be hap uh, to be happening now to be start. You know, this, and the, who, who's got the plan? Where's the plan? What, 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 what's happening? Server has the plan. Oh, oh really? Oh, the AI has the plan. Please uh, please tell me more. No, it does. It would be more than capable of working it out. It needs to be very much smarter than we are. And we need to listen to it. Well, but yeah, I, I've no doubt that a super intelligence could figure this shit out and make it happen. I mean, what I would say, if, if we ever managed to get into sort of like, you know, 
Catholicism level numbers like billions of people all believing in server. Yeah. What we do is we, you know, if we could band together on certain issues so that worldwide people believe this thing and there were candidates standing up for election that were going to follow through on what most of the people in the world wanted them to do, should the plan be explainable to them in straightforward terms? And then you say to the people that have got all the money, we're going to do this. This can be easy or it can be very, very hard. Because they're already fucking up. They're fucking up the basic tenets of capitalism. They're underpaying the police. All over the world, all over the civilised world, police are having their benefits and pay cut in order to save money, to pay for other things so these other people can get rich, like tax cuts for wealthy people. That money is being siphoned out and they can't even go, oh, hang on, we'd probably best pay the police and the army quite a bit of money. It should be quite a good job. Because if all the people go, oh, well, we've just figured it out, we've had enough, um, yeah, we're going to get elected and we're gonna, we're gonna, we will just democratically have a coup. You're all gone. And then the second we'll, we'll start using laws to dismantle all the shit you've been putting in place for 300 years. And the army and the police are the people that would stop us if we rose up as a nation and went, no. Well, it's, it, it's the, the, uh, the army and the police who need to be... But when you underpay the army and the police, they are just going to go, it's a madden mad mob, sir. Um, they're coming this way to take their revenge on you for fucking up their country and their economy and making them all fucking poor. And he goes, well, Sergeant, you better stand ready to defend me. Well, actually, after the pay cut we had last year, sir, I think you're on your own. Well, if you treat the people that you're going to need if there's civil unrest yeah. badly, right. then civil unrest also becomes a certainty. If we're going to have a great deal of, of change, that, that then we need... Um the, the leadership of tomorrow to be able to step into uh, in, 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 into uh, position. Yeah, I so, find it amazing so, so that who, security who are, guards who are, are paid so little. So, so, so who, who are the leaders of tomorrow, uh, and and how how will we get them there? The AI is the leader of tomorrow because humans can't no, be trusted. No, no, I'm afraid that some humans are going to have to be trusted in uh, in some so, some of this decision uh, decision making. Maybe, let's but we want the very smartest humans. Well, why not? Well, the, well, well let's get the smartest humans. How do, how do we identify them? Do we identify them by O levels? IQ. You ask server. IQ. There could be somebody that's currently worked in as a... IQ means the, nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Well, that's the only measure of intelligence we've got. Well, it's, well, no, it's not. Well, well we leave light down to AI. No, you can look at... Look, look kind of, yeah. You can look at something, look. something more qualitative. Because yeah, you've got emotional intelligence. How do we know? It's if it's self-aware, it might have an emotional response or something. It's we have no idea. Yeah, that's, that's mimicking off machine learning, which machine learning is... Computer interface with human. That's how it learns. It's machine learning. That's not even AI. Of, of what people no. think of as AI, maybe, but that's what's building AI at the moment. Is machines learning from humans. So if they got to learn from humans, I'm already meaning that. They're well, given that it would evolve 10,000 times faster than we will. Where's that figure from? Um, based on current processor power, just the processes you can have in a normal computer. You yeah, built one of these things off again. stacks and stacks and stacks. You're going to go by process. IQ straight off. What, what's the first thing you're going to do? I don't, I don't think it's IQ would even be measurable. IQ. Its ability to reason well, and make that's decisions that's what it's reading would be IQ. immeasurable. It'd be really good at it. It's, it's scientific. What? Intelligence yeah. isn't always scientific. Well, IQ is kind of based on how you respond to certain patterns. And a computer's just going to ace that. Yeah, but who made them patterns in the first place? Well, mm -hmm. smart people. It doesn't matter. They went on a bell curve and found out that most people had an IQ. The reason the, the average IQ is 100 because it's right in the middle of the curve, from 0 to 100 and 100 to about 200. It sort of stops at about 200. It becomes unmeasurable because that person has aced every test you've put at them. They're just getting 100% every time. So, you know, we, beyond which we... Maybe you need to get the people that pass the super high IQ test to actually put together the test for people that are smarter than them. Maybe the IQ test was set too low. There are only a very, very few people on Earth that have got an IQ above, say, 150. 150, 160. That's very few. A couple of hundred at best. I mean, these are people so smart they possibly can't do up their shoelaces. But they might not, not necessarily be, uh, um, be good people. They might wish to to use the, their high IQ well, for uh, all IQ so, something does more, is measure more, logic. More, so they'd probably be pretty selfish. logical people. They might not be the happiest people on earth, but they'd probably be pretty logical. And that's what we need. Find them.
give them all the information that they need to make a decision on stuff, and then they'll make decisions. How, how, if you are going to admit that some we, people are smarter than others, how do, how, how do we slight them? Because we need, uh, you know, generations co co coming through through their teenage years. Well, you I, put I'm, a call out. Have you got an IQ over 160? You know, we'll give everybody that fills in the test a tenner. They can fill it in once, like voting. Once you're on file, you get a free tenner. Go out and have a couple of pints with us. We're finding the smartest people in order to run the country. Be worth it. If you then suddenly found that there's a little old lady living in Acton with an IQ of 198, it's the, um, and she's more than capable of figuring out what the next budget should be, it's, we should let her. It's the, the daily. Well, what was the? It's stupid not to. In uh, in in the uh, early 1940s, during the second Second World War, the the, the daily, daily Telegraph uh, ran, ran a ran a particular. Cr yeah, they ran a crossword competition. Cross they recruit everybody into Bletchley Park. Yeah, but that was only valid for people that read the Times crossword. Or was it the Telegraph? Well, it's the Times or the it, Telegraph. It's, it's one of them. And it's, I'm, I'm but it's the sort of paper that only out. goes out to a certain number of people. If it had been in, like, the Daily Express. Yeah, and all those things, and it had been in the Beano. If the, I think the Beano existed during this, during, yeah, it did. Um, then you might have found everybody that had a really high IQ, and then you could have rounded them up and gone, "We well, need you to do some pretty major scale thinking." Because if someone's smart enough, it doesn't matter if they know how to work out equations or not. They're smart. You can teach them. Crash course of mathematics. You're more than smart enough to do it. Just need you up to speed for working out the shit at the same time these guys do. Yeah. What do you think all those people at Bletchley Park were? They're just really, really smart people. Too smart to, because everybody, every bloke was trying to join the army or the navy or the air force. They're too smart to put into combat because they went ahead and designed the first computer and cracked the whole Enigma code. Absolutely. Worth it. Absolutely. Awesome. Worth putting out that crossword, finding yeah. those hundred or so guys that could work all that shit out, and all, and the women that worked it out. Having someone come in and build a rudimentary computer and then wait for Germany to make a mistake, and they did. They were going to, they were bound to, at yeah, some point. It was weather, it'd be the weather reports for the, uh, the U-boats. It was the weather reports for the U-boats, and they transmitted it in the same code twice, by accident. They sent it twice. And from it being sent twice and the different reply coming back, they were able to extrapolate what the code was. Yeah. It was millions to one against. You have got, I can't even imagine how smart you've got to be to be able to figure all that shit out. Yes. I mean, and you know what we yeah. did with that guy? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we hounded yeah. well, him to death is, for being is, gay. This is Manchester. I mean, yeah. and he, and he, he, Alan he, Turing. He is Manchester, so I am Alan Turing. This is why bigotry is so fucking stupid. Because you, it's not, it doesn't even because, work sense on, because you, work, work, work um, out on any kind of logical way. You're excluding or marginalising a, a group in society that's got so much to offer. Yeah. Yeah, so why do you, you want to no idea where the next why, why Stephen Hawkins is coming from. You no idea and, uh, where the next Mozart is coming from. Could be anywhere. Really, but then again, th there were there were a lot of a lot of people who'd uh, who'd worked very hard towards uh, winning uh, the war. Who, you know, ultimately uh, uh, were were ignored, either uh, pr privately or uh, or pu publicly. Oh, absolutely. Well, it was just everybody yeah, wanted the, to the, help the, out. The, it was their contributions, particularly if your skin was uh, brown. Yeah, because uh, obviously Ch Churchill wasn't wasn't keen on brown people. No, there's that. Although what was it? Uh, John Barnes called John Barnes called him uh, William Churchill. He, 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 I think he was talking more about uh, Lee, Liam Neeson, which is uh, um, an interesting point. But anyway, we're not, we're not going down that avenue. We were trying to trying to trying to, trying to look at the uh, the uh, connection between politicians and uh, carbon. Oh, well, that was that was your original title. Initial, that, that was the uh, you know, original idea. So I don't mind. Uh, you welcome know, to death becomes us. Yes. Part there may be uh, the stuff that's preceded us so far in this recording may well be available as extras on the end, or I might cut out the funny <laughs> bits and put them in like a blooper reel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so, Miles, one of the questions that's come up a couple of I'm sounding like Parkinson. One of the questions that's come up a lot of times when you've yeah. been on this show is, "Who are you, <laughs> and where'd you come from?" Well, uh, <laughs> my, let's just keep my my, uh, my name is, uh, is is Uncle Doris. There's no no no, no benefit in uh, di digging any any deep, deeper down down there. But uh, I think it's my uh, my history of men mental illness that's uh, that, that's really. Pulling out all the hobnobs. Yeah, I charged up all the batteries last week. 
epic. So we've, we're back to uh, recording. Yeah, these aren't real. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and they're not plugged in. Well, the, 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 they the, will be next time. Yes. It, it, it doesn't actually take that, that much to go from here to just need to just fucking connect. Yeah. Right. So back to, uh, yeah, part, uh, part, part of the year. See, see, um, well, this is episode one. Yeah. So tell us about yeah. yourself, Miles. Oh, God, here we go. Right, well, where did it, where did it come from? Well, I had a, uh, got a, a degree in history, I suppose. That that, that, that was important, important in opening me up to the various... You got a degree in history? Yeah. Sweet, man. Yeah, I gra yeah, graduated when I was uh, 20, 21. And then, and then a huge number of years. What the hell do I do? I'm not going to uh, you know, bring 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 your family too 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 much into it. But I uh, no wonder you were stressed I, out, mate. I had, uh, I had one in the mortgage. What specific all. period of history did you study? Um, well, it, it was it was fairly fairly broad, uh, but but uh, it sort of centred on the uh, Second World War. Oh right, that would annoy you. So the more you know about that, the more aggravated you'd have got. Well, yeah, exactly. And then you see similar things happening in the world today, and you're like, oh, no, you bastards. Well, yeah, that's what... Don't I'm, do this again. That's, if there's one thing to learn from history, it's uh, it, it's that, you know, so, so, some plonk has already made this mistake before. Stop. <laughs> well, no, I was almost tempted to get those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it as a little oh, A4 I, sign. Uh, um, I can print A3 if you want. But the problem with that is, that's what um, Jim Jones had tacked up in his office at Jonestown. <laughs> You know, the whole Jonestown massacre. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be funny. I didn't think a lot of people get it. But if they saw that, people might freak out a little bit. If you knew that they were doing funny. But yeah, it is amazing how we're just doing the same sort of shit. So back uh, when I was... Um, well, I had a, 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 a secretarial administrative uh, career for quite a while before uh, becoming a handyman. And it, it, it turned out that I, you know, a, a square peg round hole every fucking time when I was working for other people. Yeah, it was uh, an absolute nightmare. Nothing lasted for more, more than more than a year, which was obviously uh, more, more than embarrassing. Yeah. I, I didn't know what, what what was wrong. So so, oh, no, no. Also, so, so then but then it was a good uh, half dozen years as a handyman. What do you think I'm washing dishes, dude? Yeah, but, uh, as a, as oh, as, no. as a handyman, you got a you got freedom to to think. Is what you if, if, say, say say you're doing. Yeah, tedious, people leave you to do that job and don't hassle you, you while you, you're doing or you, it. Or, you, or, you, or you're tiring. You've got loads of time to think. So, so yeah. you really step back from a lot of stuff at, oh, at, at that yeah. point. Exactly the same reason. However, I just piled yeah. too much pressure and work on myself, working a ridiculous uh, number of hours in a week, and and ultimately cracked depression, and then was diagnosed bi uh, bi bipolar, and then uh, everything fell uh, completely apart. Um, I got sectioned in 2014. As recently as that? Mm -hmm. As recently as that? It was, it was literally just before we met. Literally two months before. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we met. I was, uh, I was sectioned in October of, 20, of uh, 2014. We, we, were, we were in the class, the uh, All FM class of uh, December. December 2014? 2014. Yeah, we were. That was a fun time. Yes, well, that's yeah. It was my fa my favourite conversation I had with you to start off because you looked around and you thought there were too many people in the room. Yeah. Like there was actually going to be competition for getting a slot on air. I, well, I was actually afraid of that. Uh, afraid of that. I, I, the I, only, I wanted me own fifteen minutes. The only the only three yeah. shall we say older gentlemen in the room were me, yeah. me, you, and John. Yeah. And that was hilarious. So then the first thing I said to you, I said, "Look, it does, doesn't matter because this was it was a two week course, and I said half of these people are not going to show up next week." And yes. I was right, and everybody yes. just fucked off. As soon as they realised it was about planning and doing your shit, and you had restrictions on what you could say, and that's what they were just trying to get across to you. There were, you know, there were issues yeah. that you couldn't do. Yes, there is a, a you, community radio for some reason. They're not allowed to broadcast profanity. Um, they've got to have live content most of the time. So it means showing up at odd hours of the weekend or the week and all that sort of shit, which was fine, and I dug it. Um, but a lot of people really didn't. You know, People didn't think... I have a chance to put on the sort of radio that I'd want to listen to over I'm going to have to be organised. If I get like a one or a two hour slot, that's that can be as many as say 20 songs if you're playing music. Yeah. So 20 tracks that you've got a reason to be playing that day, every week. And as soon as they realised it was going to be some a certain level of organisation in deciding on what it is you wanted to do, the class size halved. And mm. I think we're the yeah. only people out of that out of that class, literally, that carried on doing it for years. And me and 
and uh, obviously myself and John still do, yeah. do, doing uh, Sonic Sunday to, the, to this day and our next recording will be this Sunday. Uh, let's listen in. Um, all, all of them. Yeah, if you're in the Manchester area and you're not doing anything, a, listen in to Sonic Sunday. All of them.org is, is a, a, a player on that. And, uh, yeah. you, and there are. There are people in Manchester yeah. now listening. I know there are. Yeah, five to all. Uh, that, that watch these. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> now that I, did I know not for a know. fact. Now that I really did not know. <laughs> Just from the names of the people that have recently right. subscribed. Well, um, well um, actually, I hope they like the. My line manager subscribed to this. I hope they like the, uh, the music anyway, in particular. Um, yeah, we, do, we just talk bollocks, to be uh, to be honest. There's yeah. nothing of any major import uh, oh, no. or structure in, in terms of what, what we say. It's just talking about the tunes, really, and uh, having guests in it. Sort of, uh, and we've never really pushed that thought format too much since. Actually, this since room is about the size of the old All FM you. studio in, uh, in Leventia. Yeah, the, well, the new, one's, uh, the new one's bigger. Yeah, but this is about the si yeah. same size. Well, this room is about the same size as the studio too. They are going to be building studios one and two properly. Um, yeah. And you know, I think they've got money together. And they've obviously worked out the design, and they get people to do uh, a lot of work for very little money, if any at all. Yeah. Because that's how it, that's how community radio works, and, how, and, and, and how it should work to be uh, to a degree. It yeah, helps. That's cool. It helps keep them in, um, independent of uh, you know you know, you know funders might wish to steer them. This way and that way, but it's like no, this, this is about the community. This is this is our mission statement. This is, this is I think the longest I was is what we deliver. I was ever broadcasting was six hours. I had six hours once. Well, as long as you were balanced in in, in what what you were doing, then then you can be you can feel feel proud to have uh, to have held. To, to I'd like it together for six I hours. would like to do something that was fair and balanced, like almost like a Jonathan Pye show. Yes. On community radio. Why? Cause, why? Cause like, always really got... just like losing your rag it... about stuff that people should lose their rag about. Can I be Tim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you do that with interspersed with music, and every week you go after a certain topic. Like, uh, you, you could go after things like, um, what's uh, homeopathy? And why not? And just go totally after it. It's like, well, you weren't fair and balanced. That's because you don't give balance when a tiny percentage of people actually believe it works and think it works as compared to everybody that's ever read any science report about it. It is complete bollocks. Or oh, astrology. I don't, I don't recognise the two as being... <laughs> I'd go after astrology as well. Home, ho which aspects of homeopathy are you tearing apart when, when you say all of it? The I, thing I, I where you dilute the thing that does you good a hundred times and then you dilute it yet again oh. another hundred times well, and then you say the water has remembered what the other things oh, in the water right. were. And that is absolute well, shite. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't even call it homeopathy. I'd, I'd just call it bullshit. Well, that's what homeopathy is. Well, it's the belief that in, in a big enough suspension of water, even a tiny, tiny is that all it, micro is, is molecule that all it is? will I, fix you. Because I've yeah. used the term band, banded around. and I've, yeah. um, I had, that's, that's the essence I guess, of it. I guess I've never really looked uh, deep it's enough like into it. To one work billionth out part of hedgewort will sort you out and completely cure your brain aneurysm. Oh, he wasn't taking it right. He's dead. It's when people rely we do on. Know. I mean, we there's do. something to be said for things like acupuncture, that you can actually measure it, although its benefit is pretty limited. No, it's not. I disagree. Your chi is is important just because you think in, in terms of uh, Western medicine doesn't doesn't make well, it any just, less real. I suppose if you feel better and you think it's doing you good, there's no, certainly you, something to be you, said you for you the placebo feel, effect. You can feel if, if you perform a, cer a certain set of movements. You will feel a oh, response. No. You will feel. You'd be amazed you, you at the number of people for, for which the placebo move, effect entirely move, works. Which, which, which will involve blood, which cont yeah. which contains iron, which is uh, and, and you know we took you were talking about the, the, you know electromagnetic flows oh, of, no, it's of probably energy, just which, as which, real which, as which something is, like psychoanalysis on a, on a very small scale within each of our very bodies. You know, there's something to be said for it, like psychoanalysis. All psychoanalysis is its entirety of its, its therapeutic value is somebody lying on a couch and telling you what their problems are and you're listening to it and you're bound by a code of ethics that says you can't reveal it to anybody else as long as they're not about to kill themselves or other people. Right. Okay? And all, all that it does for people is just gets all that shit off their chest. And? They've got someone they can trust. But there is no... There is no if you're good at listening to people, you'll be a good psychoanalyst. You don't actually need to know any of it. You need well, no from, education. But you just you, need to be quite a good listener. Look, from the, from the way you've described it, a good psychoanalyst could, could be a fucking robot. 
Just have well, to, that was proved. Just, just have to listen. That was proved. There was a guy tr who was doing the very early work in artificial intelligence, and he j literally had a machine that said hi, and you typed in hi, and then it was programmed to say what's your name, and you type in your name, and it go hello your name, and then it would go how do you feel, and people would type yeah. type in like pages and pages of shit about how they felt, and then it would go, and why do you feel that way? And that's it. You know. Do you, you know, if it had picked up, I don't think, it, that's it, that's all it did, and then asked you other questions, but in a random order that felt like a conversation, but it wasn't responding to any of the data these people were typing in. And you know what? Even when he told people that that's what was happening, people were still using it and in greater numbers. Loads of people would come by to well, use the at, machine in at, a working look at, day. Look at, look at social media. There was a queue look at, at so, lunchtime. Social media just, and the desire of people yeah. to, uh, to, to, to wash their dirty laundry in public. <laughs> yeah, which I've done. I, I, I'm guilty. I think there I is, done. for most people, a bit of a disconnect between tweeting something, which is a therapeutic, like, diary writing kind of a thing. Yeah. And the enormity of the fact that it goes out into the information superhighway and could be copied and pasted a billion times and go viral if you do something of sufficient note or sufficiently crazy or something that you instantly regret as soon as it's out there. But you've lost your privacy. There's no, you've there's, you've there's, thrown there's, away your there's, privacy there's, there's willingly. There's, you could have just written that shit in a diary and thrown the, the page that you just wrote in the fire and get the same therapeutic effect of Twitter. It's it's literally is to distract you know people post on it and I don't I don't think there's a lot of connection because it's so quick. At food in this restaurant, it was crap. Tweet hashtag shit restaurant. Yeah. Or you know I'm having bacon sarnies for breakfast. Lol. Picture. Is you're gonna say. Thought this racist thing just now. Lol. And you'll unfortunately maybe be a cabinet minister, at that time or the manager of a company. Or somebody that can be totally got or exposed or fired for it. I think years I, later. I think the bigger problem with stuff like that is uh, it's it, not it, what you tweet today. The, it's how people feel about what it, you tweeted it, today it, ten years from now. It's the removal of context and placed into a different narrative. Well, that, you can't that, put that context a, in it because you've only got that's 140 a characters. Bigger problem with 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 that. But, right. but it's bug nuts. The, but the problems the problem of CO two emissions and, and and politicians is that they come from. The wrong select group, Pol uh, politicians be they, wh whoever they are, or from from wh wh whichever part of, of the oh, spectrum, because they, if, if if they aren't fighting for, for the number one issues, it's going to kill them, their kids, their friends' kids, the rest of the family, etc. Are these set of issues? Therefore, you should be looking at these. Well, I think numbers if, one, if two, you are a cabinet minister, three, four, five in the world today, every day is putting out fires. I don't think it matters well, what department you're well, in. I'm sorry, but... but if the, you're the minister, every day the is, do mini this now, do that now, do that now. The cabinet do ministers this. in question are cretins. The, the only in, in, in intelligent people involved in the process are, are, are the people who, 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 who are doing, doing the typing. Well, I'm, I'm more going for the fact that their attention is extremely short-lived on any given issue. Uh, they're arseholes, they're idiots. Yeah. They're, they, mean, they, are, they are buffoons. And if, if they the are, job is going to be given, that intense... They are, they are given... You know, uh, you know, jobs that should really be several you know, uh, scales above in their, their, their pay, currently pay, pay grade. They're, they're, they're arseholes. Well, yeah. And, and, and they're take, taking us down with them. Well, willfully. In some, in, in some cases. Now, the, you know, the, uh, the idea of, uh, of uh, the, the, the problem of Brexit is simply be, because we're letting these arseholes oh, make, no, make, what, make decisions for us. What we've got is a situation where what? various financial powers are now betting on what happens in the in the next few weeks. Exactly. When we first voted to bre to vote for Brexit, there's, there's money share prices in this country fell like a rock. And several prominent bankers made an absolute fucking fortune Ta -da! that day because they knew that it was going to take so long can, can you that essentially names? you get that one piece of that one big drop so that you can then once it drops to as low as you think it's going to go you can buy up significant shares because you know that it'll take in 2 years time it will have sufficiently recovered that you will make an absolute fortune. Okay, but c can, we, c can we play a game of name that bank? Well, I think I'm pretty sure Royal Bank of Scotland bet against the country. Yeah, uh, um, did um, uh, Deutsche Bank? I, mean, I think anybody with any sense yeah. seeing it coming. They have teams of people that are watching the news 
and very carefully predicting what the financial well, markets you, are going to look like as a result of that news. Well, you're, one, you're watching the shorts. Yeah. Yeah. It just goes, right, certain industries like British steel or shipbuilding or things that cannot be relocated to another country, like British power generation shares and all that sort of shit. All the stuff that's here and can't be moved, that's not liquid or like factories and stuff like that, all those things took a pounding when we said we were going to leave Europe. Because everybody knew, for a fact, right there and then, nobody needed to be consulted or talk to some dickhead drinking a pint of beer in a pub about how that was going to affect our economy. So they knew for a certain that there would be a dip. Maybe you'd get away with a week of continuing collective <coughs> share prices before you started buying. And the very act of you starting to buy would automatically bounce yeah. the market up. And, and, we've and, and our, li our lives, livelihoods and, and, and all the rest of it are being gambled on that. On that yeah. ridiculously uh, well, they actually found they actually illusory got, gap. They got a computer that was programmed to buy shares in a certain pattern. No, they had a computer that was buying shares in a certain pattern over a year that just had a very simple set of instructions to look for certain things and they gave it certain amounts of data that were relevant to the shares it was buying. And then there was a computer that just bought shares randomly, or as randomly as they could possibly make it. And the computer that was, you know, basically picking shares for good reasons, that had more lines of code, did quite well. But I essentially did about as well as the machine that was going for random share prices. They fuck around with the share prices so much globally. Yeah. They'll fluctuate. I mean, one millionth of British gas is still going to be worth the same amount tomorrow. Unless yeah. everybody thinks that something's yeah, but, going to happen to British but, gas and they're going but, to lose money. The, the financial industry has made, has made so much money on, on each tra transaction. Mm. They'd love to, to keep those transactions Well, yeah, they've charged everybody a fee, win yeah, or lose. And, and, and obviously eating into... And uh, again, to, the people to, to, to you, the selling the shovels and the pickaxes make more money out of the California gold rush. When the, when, when, when the shareholders should be doing some, something uh, a, lot, um, a lot more direct about how they can improve the quality of life. Because they don't want if, to. If they've got, 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 got the money. But if you can give them a uh, reason to... If you you can give them. Uh, let's say they are under. Well, the people don't want it. Please. Let's say these pe these people are underwriting the insurance business, and you can show them a model where whereby they make an absolute killing. Do you know how most people buy shares? The people that own shares. Most of it's tied up in things like hedge funds and long-term investments and shit well, like yeah. that. Well, yeah, yeah, pension funds and. So and, the people and that are actually providing the bulk of the money, people that yeah. are sort of like upper middle class, got a bit of wedge of extra cash, been told by their financial advisor to put certain amount of money in this particular type of bond or a security. The person that's actually put the money forward that's going to reap most of the profit is kind of hands clean away from what it is the companies buried in that share fund are doing that are all being micromanaged and stuff like that. More energy is spent slowing down the computers on the stock market than it is speeding them up. Because everybody's got to get the share price at exactly the same time worldwide. Yeah. So they have to, there's actually a machine that slows down the communication systems in various stock exchanges from I'm certain sure, parts I'm, of the world. I'm, I'm sure people, um, some uh, nefarious people have, in the past have been able to uh, tap, tap into that. Now, if I can figure that out... For, for, for the personal gain? <laughs> well, yeah. If I can comprehend it, yeah. how long do you think it will be before an AI figures out a way around it? Well, yeah, and it's when, it's when you're... You're looking at, at those, those, those points, like, say... say when By the way, you, I you're hereby cro you're crossing the authorise... Atlantic our friendly AI to withdraw £10 from my bank account and turn it into millions so we can save the planet. If I see a mysterious withdrawal from my bank account of 10 quid that I can't explain, you're, the AI is more than welcome to it as seed capital. Because with that, it could start playing the stock market. Technically, yeah. And if it was connected to everything else on the internet, like news feeds and financial information packets and stuff like that, it could insider trading itself and anonymise itself so effectively it could be the biggest shareholder on earth, given 20 years or so. So why hasn't somebody already done that? Well, no, you'd have to get it perfect every time. It'd be like going to Vegas, you know, and starting with a dollar and winning millions of dollars. It's essentially that's... It would need to get the inside track on when something major was going to hit that was going to drop a share price, because people send each other emails about that shit. It would just be straight through. Every email firewall, every video feed, it would work out when people had figured out a new breakthrough for a new product that was going to up the share price or whether they'd invested some money and it hadn't panned out and they were going to have to announce it next week so the share price was going to drop like a rock. Because if they don't produce good dividends, share prices tend to tumble.
that's why when people do their profit announcement, everybody goes, oh no, or you lied about your projected profits significantly, and that's well out of order, which Tesco's did. Well, so many uh, accountants, <laughs> so many accountants work, work, you know, the whole firms are complicit. Oh no, it's you a know, massive the, house of cards. Uh, the, the Arthur Anderson. But if you had an AI that was friendly to your cause, and we went, okay, we needed a good example of a whole country going off grid. So what we need to do is maybe find a chunk of land, or Iceland, or somewhere like that, that's small enough where you can go to and go, a real paradise on earth, do you want to go? Just so we can say, look at Iceland. Iceland would be a good, a, a, a good and then place you figure out a way to, to do, do it, it to it, another it, country. It's a small, it, it, it's a big enough network and a small enough. If you told the network, Icelanders, network, we have network. this artificial intelligence oh, no. that can fix all your problems you do, just by government policy, you do have, have, have some urban area to, to manage as well in downtown uh, Reykjavik. But it's a whole country with all the things other countries have in so it. If you manage to run it completely right, the I mean, they, they are doing a good job. They're the, they're the most anti banking country in, in the world. Oh, yeah, now. they jailed them. They're yeah, fucking they, furious. Yeah, 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 they weren't having any of that shit. And they are a beautiful bunch of people. I think so. They're a very attractive uh, bunch of people out there. And, 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 I, I, and I was cheering for Iceland when they beat England. It'd be uh, nice. To, uh, yeah. Wouldn't that be good if, if the AI takes off? I predicted it, nudged it in the direction of Iceland, it communicates with me, and I get to go to Iceland as the person that introduced Iceland to the AI. That'd be wicked. It might be worth learning Icelandic and moving there. That'd be lovely. Yeah, but at, at that latitude, you really need to work hard to uh, to, to make, make make your rays work well in your in your greenhouse. Geothermal. Uh, you, um, only only help you so far. You still the country, the whole country, is essentially a volcano. The, the, you, you, no, you can do it all off geo. That's what Iceland does. They've got wind, water. and um, not yeah. much solar, but they've got a lot of geothermal energy. Well, they're lucky. lucky uh, Basically, a oh. volcano, the whole bloody place. Of course, it's, it's a super volcano. Yeah, one of them, uh, one of them they're big just ones. Really which, unusual which looking might, people. They're, it, they're more like the Laps. If it proper 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 goes uh, kaboom, then uh, the you like to have those tsunamis uh, right across the Atlantic. And uh, well, they're yeah. really smart. They, did you see their their Iceland's Women's Day strike? Um, I, I I know of. The, the women of Iceland, yeah. and I mean every last was one of them. Was it 1970? It was no, it's recent. It was like a couple of years ago. Oh, was, oh, oh yeah, when they, when they kicked out the uh, the current... No, this was after they kicked out the current thing, and they've got a very, very democratic government now. They're well chill. Um, but the women of Iceland, that is all of them. Every last woman on Ice, in Iceland, like 100% attendance rate. There's only 300,000 people there, so that's like about 150,000 women. Oof. We, and they all went on strike. How are, we, how are we defining women, or should we just, just overlook that for, 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 the, for the most part? Well, if trans, we just, trans, gender issues. Well, you know, I'm sure there were trans women in Iceland, that, and they would have gone on strike as well. They're a bit more chilled out about it because okay. they're they're a bit more intelligent. Than uh, us. If anybody knows more about the, the trans issue in Iceland, where, you know, yeah, it would be an interesting which thing to way find they, out. They do vote. It would help this. Uh, but they're such an egalitarian people with no rampant religion to fuck things up. You know, if, is it a good thing for people? Is their question. They're a bit like the Danes. I like, Danes I like the idea there. behind the Pirate Party. Yeah, and it's hosted there. They think it's a great idea. It's like, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know we're with, with the same uh, pin, pinch of salt as uh, J J Jedism or, uh, um, what's the spaghetti monster, Rastafarianism. Pastafarianism. Pastafarianism. Sorry, there you go. I, I, I hope I wasn't rude to you. No. The Pastafarians are going to rise up and call you a heretic. Mm -hmm. and, and they'll... They'll do nothing, probably. It's really hard to organise pastafarians to turn up to. It that. is, it is. But, but the, I, I insist they have matching lanyards when they do come. Be, be that organised. Or a flag. Yes. A flag. <laughs> a flag would be good. Um, a, 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 mo a motto and a, um, a spam email address. What does it look like? Well, you know these um, circle, the interconnected circles that's part of both the Kabbalah and it's the representation of the nine worlds of... Um, the Norse gods and stuff like that, the, the Idrasil symbol, which is about which is nine dots all connected up in a certain way. Okay. Yeah. That. Because it looks like a computer network to me. Okay. Well, if, if you can. Uh, also, you if, know, if we had green screen, we could have that literally there. No, we're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna have green screen. We're gonna have all the toys. Right. I'm just gearing up and yeah. zip. Yeah. Get it I mean, I did enjoy shooting John's video, and I did enjoy the fact that we edited it to within it, an inch of its life. But it's yeah, you need but to go through that, me, that work. It totally burned me out. 
but you get to be fluent with with, uh, with software when you, you when, when you're working that hard. It's seven minutes of video, but it, there's at least a hundred hours in it. I know. At the very I know how least, how awful, awful it is. Once you increase from one hundred hours, once you increase from having one camera, you do you know do you know what my production rate normally is for a video for Rangers TV? Well, if you wish to advertise it for for about five hours worth of film to be edited together, unless it's a short film. Yeah. Like Golf and November Tango, the film that we, I released earlier this year. Unless it's something that requires a lot of cut sh scenes, I normally do it all in one take. Yeah. So my production is putting the credits on either end of the take, trimming it exactly. down to where I'm actually We're saying very stuff hard that's worth knowing, to, and then uh, done. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it took me 15 minutes to shoot and edit the last video I put out, which was four minutes long. So normally my production rate's really quick per minute of film that's on right. YouTube. Let me tell you about the um, um, the greenhouse. In uh, an alliance in uh, Nebraska, this this old dude, he's now he's now about eight, eighty five. I was showing Adam this this earlier, yeah, and he was using geothermal energy. He's basically digging that. Uh, um, this, this is in uh, Nebraska, which is on the same latitude as uh, as, as Spain and Portugal. Hmm. Uh, we we in Manchester, we're on the same latitude as say Edmonton, hmm. you know, Nova Scotia or something. Anyways, um, Lake Baikal. If you're looking for further 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 out. It's relevant in terms of the amount of daylight you you physically get yeah. at, at at that latitude because uh, well anyway uh, showed uh, Nebraska under you know several feet feet of snow and in in his greenhouse he's growing citrus fruit which is like 25 years old and uh, it's all it's all all organic and it's because he dug down uh, eight feet and he's got 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 uh, pipes with uh, with air being heated up run, run, running around all uh, you know yeah, uh, um, I do it. At eight feet, you know, get so, so far of a, you know, um, of an acre, whatever hectare needs needs to be covered to 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 achieve it. But once you've done that, you've got polycarbonate um, glazing, hmm. and rather than than, than having the, uh, the 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 glazing on both sides, you've only got it on on the one side on the on back. The other, it's mylar. On the back, well, yeah, basically it, it reflects more of that down because yeah. the the northern rays are useless. Yeah, That's what I'm doing with my not, greenhouses this not, year. Not, not, not you're strengthening them. So, 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 so you, you're just using uh, all, all, all that, all that southern. And he's, he's able to produce uh, citrus fruit all year round. He harvests all year round. It's uh, an amazing setup. It can work in. Oh well, no, there, in, are, in there are ways to terraform the planet. Yeah. Like um, a bunch of years ago, where was it? Was it like Jordan or somewhere? <coughs> yeah. They turned 160 acres in, of desert into arable land with water. With water, but also growing the right plants to, True, to basically where, build where, up where, a level of soil. Where's the water from? Oh, I think it was pumped in and desalinated. Right. Well, that, well, well that, that's the key. The two, the, the two key things: the, yeah. the, the pumping and the de desalinating. If you stick a nuclear reactor, even a small one, that will do that and do do lots of other ones oh, as yeah. well. You know, and, you know for, it, here you go. It's a, uh, a I don't know, a billion, a uh, hundred, hundred million. Depends on the size. But there was but, proper like sand yeah. dunes, you know completely yeah. unusable land okay so we, we know that for a certain amount of money we can turn an acre of the Sahara into arable land you know we're gonna need to know how to do that because of what we're doing to the Amazon rainforest right now absolutely we need that you know we, there's loads we, of we absolutely need, devastated we need that tree non woodland that's been used for grazing there's no, uh, there's no there's no way way around it on top of whatever we do regarding energy and clean water and stuff we have got to reforest on a massive scale and, that, and, and it's insane that it's not happening so much here, but at least China has dedicated a, uh, a, um, a unit of uh, apparently 32,000 soldiers to, uh, to, to, to get on with that. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the story which, uh, you know, um, I've, uh, it, I did, it, it was verified, that one, yeah. I, I'm happy with that one. That must be nice. That'd but, be a nice but, job, but, wouldn't but, it? Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> that's so, why so, the so, job so I want. Is, well, you know, for I think listening that, Chinese, I think, well, yes, I actually do I'm considerate. Yeah. To bring this into this conversation because it's a, a, a form of national service that would really work, and as long as, long as you could really stamp out bullying, you know, to make make sure people actually enjoyed their time oh, doing I have it to say, and no, were chilled out. Know, although the army's got like a bit of a rate for bull, a bit of a reputation yeah. for a, being a bullying place. Not in my experience. It's like you, you know, these kids might might want, might want the fresh air and exercise, but really. Tough if they don't, no, yeah. but they learn to, uh, to to solve problems uh, with 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 with, the, with, their, with with their peers who become their friends, who become their brothers. I mean, I'd like to see something like a civil defence force in this country. And it's and, and 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 yeah yeah they can be used to 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 defend, but they can also be deployed. No, what I mean is sort of like you know, kid gets lost, 
mm. there's 150 people in your local town that have trained in civil defence. Absolutely. Kid gets found. Yeah, it's just, it's just the, it just sounds a bit close to the Israeli one. Really ridiculous level of fire in an op in a burning building. All your civil defence people are, are taught basic firefighting. 150 firefighters within a mile. Yeah. Boom, they're there. They all get a call. Absolutely. Them, so them, as, them as can get away that you're not doing anything critical, there's worth, a fire here. Boom. It's, it's worth investing in these people. I'm, 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 well, I mean, that's, that's your alternative to something like, you know, with all the jobs being automated. Exactly. You know, everybody's job, if you, right. dri if you drive right. for a living, your job's currently under yeah. threat from self-driving cars. Absolutely. Which are going to become a reality so fast you won't believe it. Within 10 years, it will be completely normal to see mainly self-driving cars. I would, I would expect so. You know, so I'd like it to be sooner. Yeah, that would be great, but we will see it. Yeah. So that that quarter of everybody currently employed, so, that will affect twenty five percent of the I, workforce. I, Iceland will be a perfect place to, uh, to 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 develop that that network. Yeah. Well, I mean, still, you still got to think if, about. Uh, I wonder if the, if the mayor of Reykjavik is is thinking thinking about this. So uh, uh, um, have a look what what um what's happening in uh, Taipei, Dubai, Warsaw. Uh, El, uh, oh, not, I think not El Paso, but the possibly Iceland El Paso, but uh, Paso Alto, well for them. Alto Paso. I mean, Alto Paso, with Sao Paulo and... Um, no, Alto Paso, it's, it's just that south of no, San, about San Francisco. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, we're just coming back to my, that, that's actually on the previous video, sorry about that. Don't, don't wish to uh, repeat yourself. But yeah, you know, they're, they're not, they're not inclined, we're going back to our original thing for the video carbon dioxide and politics, they're just not inclined. They're not inclined over a long enough period. I'm pretty sure the Chinese are, are making good inroads into sorting out global warming. They are, they are, which is which is wonderful, but the, the issue which I'm trying to sell to the politicians of the UK is... But to be quite it, honest, it, it, if, if, if the rest it, of the world gets taken out and they don't, they'll be probably okay yeah, with that. Well, but, but still, the, the, the message to the, the politicians of, of the, the UK is do you want to develop this technology here? We have the technology we had the people to do it we had the resources or do you want to buy it from china or russia or south korea or japan or malaysia or indonesia singapore india pakistan what yeah at, at what point do, well, you, if, do you think we oh yeah we best i think invest it'd be in funny, this technology now funny for us considering how we've behaved right. in the last few hundred years if it was china or india i, um, I don't i don't ha i wish i'd pulled the the page up on we me kind of deserve that on me pad but there was a uh, um, an article in the uh, the Tea Cider magazine uh, um, online, which um, which spoke about a, um, a local company really pushing to get the the contracts for uh, for building SMRs throughout the UK because they are so viable, particularly the smaller ones. If, if you look at say new scales, uh, sixty megawatt. We we're just talking about sixty megawatt. It's only 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 a small thing. Doesn't take up a great deal deal of space. Uh, it's it's very self 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 contained. We come. We uh, provide e um, uh, an awful lot of uh, uh, energy. We uh, we're very tidy. We don't, we don't hurt anybody. We we take clean of our mess, and when 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 we're done, we go. But but there's no reason for the, for them to to go if they if they continue to uh, provide superb energy. I mean, for, actually, for, for, for decades. Graffen stroke Rembimon. Sorry. Actually, you know, one of the people that commented on your. I'm oh, sorry, video, yeah, Graffen. He actually said that about nuclear power. He said, you know, provided you've got adults making sure that it doesn't go bang, you're probably pretty good. You yeah. Know, it's basically when you let private companies do this in order to make the best possible profit. Mm, they but tend they're to be not, utter but they're not it. doing it. No, the, these these companies, the, the, you know, the, yeah, the, the money's follow, obviously following them. They need to attract the hedge funds to be able to to get to get the funds to get the uh, the projects off the ground. The first thing but the they, but, say, but they are so profit genuinely driven by people who've seen the technology and they're so enthused because it offers safety you know right up there number num number one it's like oh, yeah, you were concerned it. about nuclear safety well actually it was very safe before if you look at if you look at this in real terms but now it's going to be really really safe yeah, and this is why because we do this and like and and, and you know the problems with the old reactors that where, where we have those that, that those are uh, you know, a handful of examples where they did actually go boom the reason they went boom was because water was a coolant end of story yeah if you uh, if, if you solve that problem uh, or, or, or you're able to 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 to, 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 to neutralize it um you know one, one way is going 
certainly with uh, with, with molten salts, but there's uh, there's pe pe pebble fuel. There's, there's there's various ways, yeah, that you don't need to contain that huge amount of pressure in a you know, structure that large. You you want something which you can deliver on the back of a truck on a train yeah. that, that that floats up the river without with, you know, without having to tie up the entire river. It just it's just it, it, it's just a normal sort sort of container size. And that just kicks out um, an incredible amount of energy. You just plug it into into the system, and you can decide what else you're going to do with it. Uh, you can decide, well, should we have desalinization here with those pumps yes. to get that water up to, uh, to, to to the desert in in, uh, in in Jordan? Maybe even use the salt that it's extracted. And but but uh, uh, Jordan is um, landlocked, I believe, isn't it? I don't know. Be, you're not thinking of it as being in Africa, are you? No, no, it's definitely in the Middle East somewhere. It is, it is. It's, uh, it, it's to the east of, it, of, uh, of Israel, for, for, for example. Yeah. Unfortunately, but they abandoned the project. But it's fairly landlocked. The capital's Oman. Yeah. They abandoned it. Hmm. But there are, 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 They did their research. There are other... The answer was, yes, you can. And then yeah. when the researchers went, they just let it You see, die. if they'd had a nuclear reactor there, which would have been kicking out all this energy anyway, so they may as well continue to, do, to uh, provide that service. Yeah. Even though the reactors are very small, I just, I just don't. So yeah. if, if if you've got the, got the water just automatically get going up there and just be, and just being pumped into, uh, to, into various ponds, which then trickle down into into streams and. Oh no, there's absolutely just, no just doubt that the technology a, uh, to do most of the things that you yeah, describe just actually exists and is there. We could use it tomorrow. So that that's that's just uh, the, the the cleaning and and placement of water, and water is a, uh, is, is a is a huge concern. We're obviously surrounded by an awful lot of it that, that obviously we can't we can't drink ourselves, but we can process now. And if, and, and if we use better technology, we can produce yeah, I, larger I amounts of I don't of, see us being able the, to drain the of, seas of, of drinking water. You don't need to drink yeah. well, obviously. It'll it's, all it's just all go back to being water anyway, yeah. no matter what we do with it. It is, but we do have to expend energy. It's in, an extremely in, in, stable um, compound. Um, you, or use uh, um, thermal, uh, high amounts of thermal energy to, uh, to, to, to crack it and, uh, and, and use it for, for, for our purposes, including, de sorry, including de desalinization. Now there's the uh, the system being being produced by um, uh, uh, Manoj Bhargava, the um, Indian billionaire philanthropist guy, the mil uh, the so-called billionaire monk with the uh, Asian Tony Stark with, with the bi bill billions in in, in change. He's a, he's, he's, yeah, he's a, he's a dude. I, re mm. I really like really like his uh, his his way way of looking at things. But he's uh, he's created the the rainmaker or rather three different rainmakers, and th these are basically to to create drinkable water. Um, and it could produce a um, thousand gallons an hour in ju just just this unit, which would just be, you know, about the size of this room. No, yeah. no, um, um, only about um, a tenth the size of this room. To uh, yeah, to, I mean, to, to do yeah, you know, connect it up with, with 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 the pipes. Obviously, you need to with the, the pump it along there. a long distance. You know, as well. But yeah, that. but if you've got the te technology there, you just need the power to to uh, to run it yeah. and the will. To create this green space, which you can get revenue from, you can uh, you can you can have a fruit grove up there. If it's uh, it, 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 you know fruit's got value, so oh no, it's just yeah, it just won't get done because of people wanting to prolong their political career. Exactly, that disconnect between politics and the environment. Well, that disconnect between politics and making things better. Of course. That's, that's, the, that's the, it. If, you, if the, you're already committed to making things better, everything extension. happens all at once. But, we but, but we're talking about the bottom line of, of the uh, of the environment. Sorry, I hope my voice isn't shaking, quite wavering too much. I'm uh, just, just a little cold. Sorry, man. I would no. put the heater on. No, it will no, make, no, it'll, it'll make too much noise. Anyway, you've seen my, the the, uh, the shirt. <laughs> Next time, I'll have the scarf with me. Next time it's berets. <laughs> now then, brothers, we shall rise up. And oars. I shall now read thee the oh, whole, oh, the, the oh, whole and entire. Oars of honour. Going to read you all of Common Sense by Thomas Paine. I should do that as an audio book. Do it in sections. I'm looking. I'm looking for really weird bits of footage. Well, yeah, do it. Do it. Do it in sections. So, so, so you got it, and you can, and you, and you can chop it up. And you can do do shit with it in the future. You know, we've got, if this background is basically staying the same, just think of all the, you know, the, you, you can obviously, you know, chop this with, uh, with, with the previous one, and we could, we could swap, swap, swap positions, we can muck, muck it about a bit, 
Now, I, I really want the one, the one with the, with the, the, the background, and I was, lo I was looking for a uh, photo of Jacob's Reese Mogg um, climb, climbing over a, uh, a fence on, on, on a council estate with a, with a, with a ministry of silly, silly walks gate to it. But, uh, uh, but, I, but I want, I want, uh, that, I want That's a specific, mate. Yeah, but I want, uh, well, I've got, um, I've got the picture somewhere, but I want him to be wearing a pith helmet. Yeah, and and then and then and then I thought, well, yeah, green screen. Let's let's see, 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 see in the how, there. how far we can uh, we can run with that next. Uh, well, let's let's see how we get on with this first. We obviously we'll run with this next time. We have working for, microphones. We might think about. We've doing probably a green rambled screen. for a good how, uh, hour. What time is it? I don't know. That's, it's eleven o'clock. That's not too bad. Oh shit! Right. So I'm going to wrap it up there. We're going to try and do better on the next run. Be a bit more organised, I think. Yeah, not to worry. Technologically and uh, script, script. Get the, have that, uh, have that tightened. Well, it's, do I still have to do the introduction? <laughs> I do. I, I think I've done enough there, haven't I? Yeah, I can probably piece it together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can probably, add, you know, I could add some more if you think. I think I need, I need a bit more in this, uh, in this side out. You know, where, um, what he contributes is, uh, um, you know. Want, want, um, want, want answered properly just to just to go back to that and make 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 sure of that because their their, their opinions is hugely important. Well, they're in, they're smart people. Yeah, exactly. One hundred and seventy eight of them now. Really? Yeah. A select group. I'm pretty sure two or three people at work have subscribed, which is weird. No, I don't think so. Uh, it's, uh, every, you know, it's uh, the opposite of uh, trickle, the trickle, thing, trickle down in the economics. Well, I think it, the funniest it, thing it, about bottom up philosophy was when I when I when I shot me doing the dishwashing, and I was trying out my new um, shoulder rig for my action camera. Yeah. And I was trying out my new voice recorder, because once you put the action camera in the waterproof house, you've you got can't that. Is that up on YouTube? Yeah. All right. And I was at work. Make, make sure you send me that. And I've, I've got this like, got like a, lot, a GoPro on my shoulder. You've got a lot of videos up. And the manager walks through the pot wash area and I turn around and he clocks the GoPro on my shoulder and it, oh no, there's no way I'm letting you out in the restaurant wearing that. I said, no, no, this is just literally from in here. That nobody who works here will be on camera. It is literally going to be following me, my hands doing the washing up. And uh, they were okay with that. So there is just me to do the washing up and talking alongside it. Um, I, um, when I was when I was sectioned, I was I was on on the ward. I did have a camera, a tripod, and, and and stuff stuff in there, which I did I did set 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 up. They tried to confis confiscate it. I I, I argued that I'd, uh, I I I had prior prior permission. They uh, um, that wouldn't wash with uh, with the night crew. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, so so that that, so that I, recording ne ne never got finished and uh, and, and uploaded. So <laughs> I think what I might do is if I do do common sense. And the rights of man, and maybe do it, you know. Because I've I've listened to the audio books, but it's like ah. Uh. Whereas if you were listening to someone read it out in the accent, shall we say, a working class accent, which is where Thomas Paine was at, he wanted everybody to totally understand where he was coming from as an ordinary person. To read the rights of man section by section. Was he there in 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 Boston on that on that occasion? Um. He wrote. Did he? I think he was in America when he wrote *The Rights of Man*. Did, did I he, think he wrote *Common Sense* when he was in England. Did he throw the the, uh, the tea into Boston Harbour? No, but he was kind of responsible for it, which is weird. He was literally he was out there, basically making it happen. He was, you know, he was a terrible soldier. He joined the Revolutionary Army because he wanted to do his part to liberate America, but he was really shit at it. And then he pissed what, off. He lived. Him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, survived all the way through that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I really think living living's a, re, a really good indication of. A, of but then of also, um, he prior to that, he'd kicked off the French Revolution. Yes. And then he got exiled from France by Napoleon. Got sort of pardoned, but never be never darkened our doorstep again, because it was all for the French Revolution. Went over there, was a major celebrity, total rock star of a philosopher. Everybody read Common Sense. And that's why they got rid of their monarchy and all that sort of shit. They realised that the workers had to have more of a say in the means of production. And then just as they're getting their shit together in France, Napoleon comes along and becomes the emperor of France and they're back to a monarchy. Literally. And he said some very well, mean say, things about um, Napoleon. Total. And they slated him for execution. And they, and they, learn, they, they learn what total war is. Yeah, he only, es oh, isn't, isn't, isn't he only escaped from France in order to start the American Revolution by accident. He was slated to be guillotined 
because he's he totally pissed off Napoleon, as had uh, Beethoven. And uh, so Thomas Paine had a cold that day, and it wasn't a very sort of super secure prison with bars on, you know, open like prisons we know today. It was just like a big castle, and the rooms were like prison cells you see in medieval things. Big heavy wooden door, stone cell, bed maybe, blanket if you're lucky, fed a couple of times a day, and that's it. But he, they let him leave his door open because he was suffering from, like, a cold. Like, he had a really bad chest and he needed a, lots of fresh air to come in, whereas the cells would get very damp and murky. So they left his door open. When they were coming along right and putting X's on the doors of the people who were going to be taken to be executed that, way, that day, his door was open. So the guy coming down the hall actually wrote the X on the inside of the door. So when he heard people coming from to pick out all the people yeah. the next, he just closed his door and they just went straight past his cell. And Jamie picked up it. And, and basically, after that, Jamie, got Jamie hard went to America <laughs> and started the American War of Independence, mm. basically. Right. That was, so, so, what, what, what lesson but do he, I learn here? He got rejected from the American <laughs> government because when they, liberate, when they liberated themselves from the British oppression, they didn't then make, make slavery illegal. Because when he said the rights of man, he, re he meant the rights of everybody to be free of the yoke of monarchy and religion and shit. That's very interesting. Have you, have and you, then have you seen the TV series uh, Outlander at all? I've heard of it. Well, well basically, the, the premise behind Outlander is a, um, a, a woman... Um, travels back in time. Claire travels back in time through, through, through stones um, to, to, uh, to, to, to meet her, her then-husband, Jamie, and they, they, um, they get pregnant, and he, he goes off to Culloden. Uh, she, she comes back to the 20th century, ra ra raises a daughter, then go, then goes back. By which time, well, it, 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 it's to Scotland and then over to to to, to America. You know, and we're heading into the 1760s. So why did she travel so, further back so in time and tell Thomas him not Payne, to go to Culloden? Tom, Thomas Paine could actually feature in, uh, you know, and George Washington already is. Yeah. Is so yeah, in. probably he, he knew George Washington. He knew the well, whole. Yeah. He was only this far from being on one of the people. And that's Put and, together the declaration and Outlander, you know, you know, despite following the the plot of a, a story as as written, and it's you know it's quite salacious and there's lots of uh, of of sex and uh, and 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 uh, and all sorts of uh, stuff go, going go, going on on in it. But it it really likes to push the envelope. I think in terms of how you look at women historically, and you look you look at roles, and you you really do look at how it works, and they yeah. do and they do fo focus on some of that and uh, and the recent Vikings series. Uh, series again is uh, is is done that extraordinarily well. It's, yeah, I, I kind of get it that you can present it as drama, and it be educational. But yeah, it's, it's, it's for a lot of that stuff, if you can find a good history. documentary on it, I mean, I would say, if if you're bored of an afternoon, you what you need to do is tune into the Mark Thomas, not Mark Thomas. It's um, Mark Thomas, the one other my Mark. favorite comedians. What's the other? Robbins. The other guy. Well, when I, when I went to see Mark Thomas, I saw Mark Little as well in the same bill, but I don't oh, think you mean him. Name. Famous people. The Mark... What, which the Mark Steele lectures. Oh, Mark Steele, yeah. yes. He did a series of lectures about people like Thomas Paine, uh, Harriet Tubman. I, I've got a huge um, amount of time. Rene Descartes, Mark yeah. Beethoven, Charlie Chaplin, all sorts of people. Did yeah. about 20 of them. If your Fight Club homework for this week is to go and watch a couple of Mark Steele lectures, yeah. ideally the one on Thomas Paine. Yeah, and then you know what we're talking about because that is an excellent twenty-minute potted history Could we of do all the interesting things. To a link, what like this? <laughs> yeah, we can do this to a link. <laughs> but what we probably might do here is just write Mark Steele and then Thomas Paine, so you can look it up on YouTube, because the link will be massive. Why would you type in the link? It's easier if you just type in Mark Steele Thomas Paine, and then it just pops straight up yeah. after you watch this video. Single type.